Bit of a different video for me today. I'm going to be doing a little review on the game Need for Speed. I haven't played a Need for Speed in absolutely ages, and I've got EA Access. I'm just going to stop there and explain. If anyone has not got EA Access, I recommend you go and get EA Access. It's only a couple of quid a month. Any game that EA release, you get 10 hours free gameplay of it. So I fully recommend. It. It's fully worth it from that. You can decide whether you want to buy the game after that or not. So I really recommend going out and going get EA Access. It's absolutely it's, it's, it's a lifesaver, really. I don't know why, but it is. But anyway, I'll get back in to Need for Speed. I haven't played one like I said for ages so to actually play this was pretty good. It took me back a couple of years when he was playing at my mate's house. You are around and you had to play on one console. You had to share the pad. What the hell's that all about? You don't do that no more do we? But it took me back to that because it feels the same as I think the last one I played was Underground and it really feels like the same in some way but on the Xbox One so I was all thumbs up for it. As you can see in the background you can do the customizations. You can do any customizations you want to your car. You can change the vinyls on it. You can change the colour of it. You can tone it up so you can uh, make it lighter, you can make it heavier, make it go faster, whatever. You can change whatever you want. As you see there, I'm changing the rims. You can do anything you want to it, which is what I love about it. I love designing my own car, so like my car that is. It's not one that the computer's generated. It's I've created that car, that's mine, I can do that. So absolutely love that about it. And it's good to see it back because some of the other ones you had to have like set stuff and I didn't really like that about it. It wasn't really my, my cup of tea, that wasn't. So to actually get the full customization of the cars and do whatever you want to it was absolutely brilliant so a big thumbs up for me on that one so i will i will say that that's just great really but when i picked up this game it felt like i hadn't hadn't had so long out of it like of not playing the game if you get what i mean there like i haven't played need for speed since about oof, nearly 10 years ago i think the last one i played was and when i picked this one up it felt like i was playing 10 years ago the handling on the cars are they're dead easy i think i think they're so easy to just pick up grab it and play and you can do that with these games you can pick up and play you can go on a game and play so long on say a campaign game for three hours and you just say oh I'm bored of this now I'm just going to pick up Need for Speed and go have a drive which is pretty good and as you can see in the background in here you when you do the campaign mode you're already in with people online so as you see them cars running around they're people actually online they're in your game as well so you do race them as well so that's pretty good it's a nice little added extra that they've put in there compared to all the other ones back when you didn't have online or nothing you just had to play it on an Xbox or a Playstation 2 <laughs> we've been all old saying that but but yeah, it's really good, and the story the storyline's pretty pretty good about it as well. Like uh, I like the storyline on it so far. Like I say, I've only got the ten hours access. I haven't used them all yet, but it's really coming along pretty well. And I enjoy the driving. The driving on it's really like I say the handling on it's really really good. So you can just pick up and just go for a drive on there, which is really really good. And the other thing I like about it is with Need for Speed, the cars are a cars you see on the street on your streets when you're driving to work every day or you're driving. So you can relate to the car. Uh, it's like I'm driving a Honda Civic at the minute. Oh, I'm mad on Honda Civics. I love Honda Civics. Uh, I love the Honda Civic uh, Type R. So seeing Honda Civic on there, you think, you know, I'm going to do that. And maybe I could do this to my car if I got one. And so, stuff like that. It's a bit weird, but that, that's how I see it. It's like you can kind of relate to to the game in some ways because you see that the cars that are on here are the same cars that are driving around in the streets. You can have a Ford as well and uh, a Mitsubishi. These are cars you see every day so you kind of relate to them so I think that's what kind of grips you in a bit more. You haven't got like F1 cars or supercars or absolutely unreal cars so it's kind of nice to see that in the game and you're driving on the streets as well. It's not a track, it's a street so I know I probably would never ever do it but you kind of could do this in real life. That's what makes it more more playable really. In my eyes it is anyway but it might not be in your eyes but that's what I liked about it though you're driving at night time you think you know what well, I'm going to slip this this fourth gear into fifth and in my little saxo I do about 80 miles an hour that's too fast for me as my car might blow up if I go any more further than that but it's really good and I like that about it and I've been really getting into this and I've been getting into the story mode as well the story mode it's like a, a, a I don't know put it it's like a film because it's filmed with like real actors and it's like a, a role at like the camera keeps moving like real proper real characters which is good i like that about it it puts you into the perspective of that you're there you're in the game you're in it's like a little film you're in the film and it's really good that is i like that about it and 
it takes me back to Command and Conquer days when you see the live, like the the, the actual film of it and that, which is it's pretty good. And to be honest, in Command and Conquer, seeing Gemma Atkinson is never a bad thing in my eyes, if I do say so. But no, I absolutely love it, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So just you just have to keep playing it, really, and get the more you play it, the more you get into it, and the more the more you do, because there's all different types of races on there. You've still got your drifts, you've got your sprints, you've got your drag races, you've got everything on there. It's brilliant. You've got everything that you had before, and like. A talking about in the back just about the storyline that's this is what it's like like it's a point of view and it's really good that is and i absolutely love that about it so fully uh fully recommend it on that i'm just that really the online play you can go straight into a race and have a race and off you go but to me this need for speed is a really good game and they've done a really good job on it like it looks beautiful to, to drive and the scenery around it it just looks beautiful so i honestly if in my eyes i'd recommend it i'll definitely be getting it so i'll go out there and say to you guys i definitely recommend getting it it's a good game it's a good pick up play you could probably have a laugh with all your mates create your own races and all stuff like that so yeah that's my review on it guys if you did like it please leave a like and subscribe and also guys leave a comment tell me what you think and i'll have a chat back to you honestly i don't bite i'll see you next time thank you very much